A few weeks ago, I received this gorgeous hand-built computer. It's a Phoenix Retro Systems F256K. I honestly didn't know much about it. It's got a DVI port, which I don't have on my display. So uh, it's got a DVI to VGA dangle dongle. So plug that in, get it going. Cool, so it boots right into basic, and uh, me being a child of the 80s means I need to deface the screen immediately using my elite hacker skills. Yes, I am amazing. I did some Googling and found out you can turn on and off the keyboard lights. Some more Googling turned up the latest super basic manual and I found there's a sound command I can use, so I'd better hook up a speaker for that. And now we have blinking lights and sound. It's a regular demo party. Okay, maybe it's a little more impressive if we do some graphics so we can use the built-in routines like Circle. So I create some hacky physics, and it's quite fast. And really this was probably my second day actually getting hands-on, so it's really impressive uh, and probably shows how important it is to have a good basic. From there you can start coming up with all kinds of programs, just playing around, drawing things, uh, you know, doing little experiments, and just having fun. I did realize at this point that there was no sine or cosine function. But if they can implement it for 8-bit machines in assembly, then surely I can write one for basic. <laughs> Fine, maybe it took me a little longer than I thought, but I got it working, and now I have a reusable library for sine and cosine. And with a few lines of code, we can go ahead and plot that out and see what it looks like. Sweet. And yeah, I'll admit it's not very fast, but it works, and you know, it's written in basic, so what do you expect? And we can do other things like draw circles, which again, not very fast, but it's a pretty nice circle. And from there, you, you can of course come up with all sorts of fun experiments and interesting functions you could plug in using sine and cosine. I think that's really the point. So uh, yeah, I'm going to stop there. You know, um, there's obviously a lot more that you can do than just write basic programs. And uh, yeah, I'll get there eventually. But I think this is a good way to introduce yourself to the machine. And maybe if you had seen one of these and weren't sure if it was something that was interesting to you, or maybe it seemed overwhelming, this just, uh, at least shows that there's a lot you can do just out of the box, um, just using super basic and your your brain. So uh, hopefully this was an all right video and you got to uh, experience some of the machine for yourself uh, through, through this uh, silliness. So thanks for your time. I put all the code for these experiments on GitHub and some writing about uh, some of the things that I found while working with Super Basic. All right, everyone have a great day. Take care.